You already got one, dude? The fight was so good, dude. My arm's tired from that fight. Speaking of good, there's one. The temperature is currently 33 degrees. Feels like 32. What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Epi banger cold vidi it is cold for florida this is 30 degrees right now i'm wearing a fluffy hat on top of my hat uh that's how you know i'm cold but so far the plan is today i'm going to teach you guys how to catch more fish in salt water especially when it's cold or just in general when conditions are on your side and today conditions are 100 percent not on my side but what i got it what i've got loaded up is my new inshore fishing bike in the back right now and i'm excited to try it out today i'm gonna stay warm by biking that is for sure so far i'm planning to go pick up my buddy augie fish with him last sunday uh sunday's become sort of my fishing day now pretty cool but so far what i'm planning is we're staying small we're staying smelly and we're staying slow and that's kind of the plan for today's video. But I'm here to teach you guys how to catch more inshore fish, especially whenever it's cold or even just conditions are generally t against you. We want to talk more about it when we get down to the water, down to the area. But I'm in my truck right now. I need to actually drive to get there first. I'll see you guys in the water. Yeah, All right, guys and girls, we are here at the Refuge. I'm here with my buddy Augie. I picked him up. We got a few things we're gonna get ready today I'm gonna show you guys lures when we get out on the water But like I said today's video is all about how you guys can catch more inshore fish when the conditions get tough Or if you just don't know how to catch inshore fish in general I'm gonna give you these little tips that are help you out and hopefully get you on more fish as you go saltwater fishing Let's get to it. Alright guys I just want to say a quick thing for mystery tackle box If you guys not have not heard of mystery tackle box brand new tackle to your front door every single month It's like Christmas every single month all over again And what mystery tackle box can do for you is it can introduce you to new lures and new tech Techniques that you would have never thought work. If you guys don't know already, Mystery Tackle Box offers species as far as bass, panfish, and trout, catfish, walleye, ice boxes, and even inshore boxes. So if you guys want to do as pretty much just as good as I did today with your inshore lures and have a lot of lures that will also tear them up inshore, go check out Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys use code HUNTERFISH10 on your next purchase at Mystery Tackle Box, you will see uh, that you can get it as far as low as $10. It'll always be awesome. I love Mystery Tackle Box. Recently, the Mystery Tackle Boxes have just been hitting just so good. So if you guys want to go check that out down below, it would do me a huge solid. I really highly appreciate it. Thank you guys again, and uh, go check out that Mystery Tackle Box link down below. I'll see you guys for the rest of the video. All right. What's that? That would be interesting. You already got one, dude? Dude, let me get in the water before you do all that. Give me a chance, bro. Is it a redfish? I'm gonna take a picture of that bait. Oh, that's a good one. Bro, that's slot. Oh, that's oyster bars. You wanna take them over there? Oh. Wanna grab with the ride? Rod or line? Yeah. Here. Let me grab that line. Yep. Yep. I guess I could have done that, but. Dude, that's slot. Dude, that was first cast. Uh, it's like bottom of the slot, but. Oh, this is gonna be fire. I knew it was gonna be a good day, dude. like way too much of a panic than it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> that was way extra, dude. <laughs> Oh, you got that on your first cast, dude. I think it's the glasses, honestly. Probably. That's the slam shady in his mouth right there. Oh, Deep he's wearing throat. the Be Fresh glasses. No. <laughs> Sweet. Do you want to measure it or no? Yeah, I'm down. I mean, didn't you want to? I want to keep flounder, but okay. I, no, you know, honestly, let's let release him because I got a good feeling about today right now. There's one. Ooh, it's a bigger one. Yep. Yeah. 
line. Get on the rocks. <sighs> He's a little bit bigger too. Come on. Out on rocks. There we go. Here. You can grab the line. <sighs> Yeah, he's about the same size, almost exactly. Heck yeah, dude. Got one already? Yep. Heck yeah, let's go. Need a measurement? Nah, we got it right here. But I don't think we're gonna keep too many of these size reds. I wanna keep like one a little bit larger, probably about 21, 22. This is about 19, 20. That's the size I got over there. All right, buddy. Thanks for biting. That hook freaking got buried in there, guys. Yeah, there. I mean, that was my first cast too. <laughs> Let's go. That was about. I would have said like 18, 19. Yes. He hit that like dead stopped. But dude, that fight was so good, dude. My arms tired from that fight. <laughs> Speaking of good. Dude, every cast. Why? Why is every cast? <laughs> yep. Oh, that's some oysters. Come on now. Oh, that line. Ah, another red. There you go, guys. Another one. That's a little back-to-back -back cast right there. That's so sick. You got one too? <laughs> Dude. We need to take a double up pick. That'd be sick. That's so sick. Dude, let's go. Hook came right out. Let him out right here. What? Dude, Double. let's go. Doubles, baby. Doubles, baby. Oh, he hit that tree. <sighs> that was so sick, dude. This is awesome. Yeah, I don't even care if like we caught it. We didn't catch any more fish the rest of the day. Huh? I need to get out of here to keep the next one. We'll leave. Call it a day. That was sick. Dude, he's bigger. I'm gonna go over. No, I can't. Oh, he's taking me the oysters. Oh, he's big. He's fat, dude. You gonna help me out? Dude, I gotta take a picture of that. That's sick. <laughs> no! No! Dang it. Yeah, he's big. Did he break my line? Mm -hmm. I should have checked it. That's my fault. Man, how you doing? Doing all right so far, that's for sure. Trout and reds or just trout? They're catching trout, we're catching reds. I want to catch some flounders, but I want to catch. All right, guys, I'm going to talk about the tip section of today's video real quick. But the number one tip I got is downsize. So this is right here, a two-inch DOA shrimp on a thin of fish, eighth-ounce jig head. If you want to catch more fish and your conditions are sucking, downsize to a smaller bait. Augie, you about to finish that cast? I don't know. I'm gonna show him something on video, yeah. In the water, but yeah, I am. Oh, well, see, Augie here is actually catching a fish while I was about to show him. Um, essentially, what he's using is a Ned rig, a Slam Shady on a Ned rig, which Slam Shady, if you guys wanna click the link down in my description, you can actually pick up the bait he's catching a fish on right now. There's actually a decent amount of people here today um, fishing all at the same time as us. This is actually my combo, guys, by the way. <laughs> I just let him use it because <laughs> it's lighter, and what that's essentially what we're doing today is just all light fishing. Guys, real quick. That's what he caught it on right there. A little Ned rig with a Slam Shady on it. We cut it down to make it smaller and we're getting more bites that way. But yeah, cool little fish. We're killing it. Another one for the day. Remember, downsize to get more bites. Downsize to upsize. Oh, you got one. Heck yeah. That's a little bit bigger. Seven. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Do you want to measure him once you get him up here? When you do, they're shallow. Oh, that's risky. That's risky. Grab them. <laughs> All right, next one you take. You take over there, man. 
Speaking of which, if you don't if you don't mind, I'm gonna come land my fish over here. <laughs> when you're using light rods and stuff, <laughs> you gotta be careful. I got one too. <clears throat> oh, he's got beautiful spots. Dude, let's go. Oh my gosh, this fish is so pretty. Dude, look at that. I thought I lost spots. Wanna do me a oh we take some pictures with it. You gonna hold both of them? <laughs> no, not this time. That's okay. We, we caught like a good amount of fish like really right there. Yeah, me neither really. Nice cop hit. There we go. Oh, there we go. Huh? He's a little bit bigger, I think. Or maybe I'm just playing a little bit more, I don't know. I might be giving him the YouTube treatment right now. <laughs> he might be a flounder, you're right. Is that what you said? Oh, dude, it's good red. Oh, dude, I actually might need your help. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Hold up. Oh. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good fighter. Ah, there we go. All right, guys. So tip number two to catch more fish inshore adding scent to your bait so i'm using a specific scent today it's called dr juice it's actually from slant uh salt strong if you guys have seen my channel before you guys heard me talk about salt strong this is scent but you can use any old scent like procure dr juice sorry for the wind guys it's really bad out today but we've caught anywhere from 30 to 40 fish and it's been an amazing day so my motto is if it's windy like this you're catching fish so i really recommend you guys go out even on the windy days you're going to catch fish and also i'm going to talk about tip number three here in a minute after I show you guys some more fish clips, okay? I mean, if you want any pictures, bro, we'll just... Also, real quick, guys, this is fish like number 24, 25, or something like that on the Slain, Slain Shady. You guys wanna go pick one up? Dude, look at his teeth. Let me take a picture of that real quick. He looks like a freaking bass in the water, dude. That's a trout? Oh, that's a good trout. Oh, geez, that's a bigger trout than I thought. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come down there and wet my hands. I apologize. Oh, you're good, man. This trout got to wet my hands. Oh, I can't reach down there. I'll spit on it. <laughs> Jeez, come on now. Jeez, oh, that's a good long one. 
22. All right, let's get him off the hook and get him back in the water. We need more of these guys out there. There you go, guys. Swim off like a dream. Whew. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> it's so awesome. That's about 22. I, I barely even measured him, but not here. yeah. So, but no, he watches your videos and stuff. And... Yeah. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. He said he walked up and said, hey, Hunter. And I was like, I was thinking about it for something. Did he just say my name? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You got one. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> you cranked him, dude. Is that a trout? Yeah. That's a good one, bro. Not a bad trout. He's got teeth, by the way. He's got teeth. <laughs> He's got teeth. You want me to help? <laughs> Got a momentum, momentum, remember. I just tied my lure. Nice. Nice, dude. That's a good one. You want to measure him? Huh? Guys, uh, real quick, I just want to talk about that 20 inch trout he just caught. He caught a 20 inch trout on the Slam Shady, and this Slam Shady's been through the works now. I think this fish, this thing's caught like 20, 25. You said that like at least five or six. Yeah, fish five, ago. six fish ago. I've said that it was 25. I think it's 30. 30 fish on one Slam Shady. All you got to do is just use some Loctite super glue, and uh, I guess that's it, really. <laughs> you got to throw it in the water. <laughs> yeah, just got to use some Loctite and throw in the water. That's all you got to do. It's sick. Oh, this is so much easier to control your lure. Dude. That's a red. What? No. Look at him rolling like that. Beautiful red. I don't know if that's legal. Should I check? Eighteen. All right, guys. Now for tip number three, as far as if you want to catch more inshore fish, this is probably the most important tip of all. That's the reason why I said it last. Is you guys need to slow it down. If you use tip number one, downsize your baits, and if you use tip number two to add scent to your lures, you need to do tip number three. Slow down your retrieve. If you slow down your retrieve and hop it off the bottom, you're going to see more effective bites and more effective fishing. When you think you're going and you're fishing too slow, slow down more. That's my motto, because the more you can finesse these fish, the more you can actually spend time catching more fish. But I'm gonna see you guys here at the outro soon. Let's watch some more fish catches. Guys, I don't know if you can see that, but... That shrimp I've been using in the water, this is it underneath the water right here. This is the fin of fish jig heads. It sits perfectly straight up on the fin of fish jig heads. The really stout hook. This is a two inch DOA shrimp. It's actually meant to be a fly. But this thing right here, like I said, downsize, scent, and work it slow. That's what's been getting me bit. And that's what can get you bit. So this is so sick. I'll leave a link down below to all this stuff. You guys can try it out. I love these little things. I'm actually gonna get way more after this. Love these. I got one of my boys, Captain, I got me. So I don't know how to make one. There's a fish. There you go. I guess it didn't matter to me if I needed the shrimp or not. I don't know though. Oh my gosh, that's a drum, yeah. Black drum. Black drum, he's not legal, but there's another species on the on the uh B vibe, that's cool. Little black drum. I wasn't expecting that. 
black zone. I freaking nailed that hook set too. That's sick. That's the first black drum I've caught in years, dude. Yeah. That's a big old, that's not a big black drum. I don't know what I'm saying, but it's still pretty cool that I caught that. These guys are nasty though, high key. Did you hear my line? Literally, I picked it up and screamed like, well, the fish I just had. Oh, there's another one. Maybe the sh losing the shrimp wasn't a bad thing necessarily. Well, I mean, I've caught fish on this bait here. I don't know. Oh, that's fighting hard. That's a red. Could be. Oh, that's tall. That's a black drum, dude. Oh, it's a good red. Holy crap. Oh, fuck, bro. No, it's a spots, dude. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. We have spent the whole day and my truck won't shut up. All right guys, that is it for the video today. We caught, I don't think I've ever caught this many fish in one day. We've caught, he estimated 60. I like to lowball pretty much all my numbers, so I probably guessed about 45. But between me and him, we both caught 20 fish. He caught 35 of his, at least on one lure, and that's the Slam Shady, cut down on a Ned Rig. So. Like I said, guys, I have three tips for you guys to be catching more fish inshore. I'm gonna have so many clips of catching inshore fish on exactly these tips I'm telling you guys. These tips are gonna help you catch way more fish. And I'm also gonna offer a little bit of a deal. This is gonna sound super gimmicky, but, but if I didn't believe in the products I showed you guys in the description, I would not tell you about them. All these products I personally catch tons of fish on. I personally have so much luck on and I kill it every single time. So I tell you guys, you guys need to check out these products down below but first tip like i said downsize second tip scent third tip slow your roll slow your roll means essentially if you think you're going slow go slower like 100 you need to go slower than you think you are actually going because most of the time these fish are so sluggish they don't feel like eating so you've got to give it to them so easy and when you can give it to them have an easy meal they're most likely going to eat with a lot more vigoration i've caught so many good fish today just with these tips alone. I think that is it for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I say thank you again to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video. And I definitely appreciate their longtime support. But I'm also gonna leave a link down below if you guys wanna go check out the Slam Shady and get essentially a free pack of Slam Shadies, the bait that caught 35 fish on one plastic with some super glue. That's all I did. Get some Loctite Super Gel, put some on the jig head, and you are gonna keep that thing on all day. Caught over slot trout, over slot reds, all on this one lure. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description and all you gotta do is pay the $2.87 shipping straight to you. You get a free pack of these seven lures in each pack. Imagine if you <laughs> caught 35 fish on each lure minimum. I doubt that's gonna happen. It was definitely a really cool experience, but I wanna say thank you again for watching. Thank you again to Mr. Tackle Box. Thank you again to Salt Strong for ever being so supportive. And I wanna say, I'll see you guys next time on the Hunter Fisher YouTube channel. And uh, remember, fish for me. <laughs>